In this video, we will learn all about linear regression equations. Linear regression is a process that helps you find the line of best fit for your data that might be in a scatter plot. The easiest way and probably the best way to do linear regression is either with your graphing calculator or with a computer. So we'll learn how to do linear regression and find the line of best fit with our calculator in this video. So let's consider this data and learn how to use the calculator to plot those points and then find the line of best fit and the equation of that line. So the first thing we need to do is plot the points. To do that, go into the stat menu and select edit and you'll see some lists. If you have anything there, clear them out and we're going to use list 1 to record all the values of m and list 2 to record all the values of n. So the first thing I'll put in is 5 for my first value for m and then 14 and then 2 and so on. Now you're going to do the same thing for list 2 except for all the values of n. So start out with 6 and then 13, 4, 10, and so on. Once I have all the different points into the list, I want to actually plot them. So to do that, go into stat plot, which is right above the y equals, so you have to click second and then y equals. And we're going to want to do a stat plot. So select number one. It says off right now, but we're going to want to turn that on. And first select on because we want it to actually plot it. And then select which type you want. And the first one is the scatter plot. So that's already selected. So that's good. We have list one and list two. That's correct. And we want it to be these little squares. So that's good. Once you click enter, you can click graph and you'll see your graph. It doesn't, if it doesn't look just like this, you might need to adjust your zoom. The quickest way to get what you want is click zoom and then push nine. So we can see that just looking at it, there looks to be a pretty strong positive correlation between our two variables. But we want to actually draw in and figure out a line of best fit here. To figure out the line of best fit, Go into stat again and go over to calc and select for linear regression ax plus b. Once you've selected that make sure it says list 1 and list 2 because those were the two lists we were working on and go down to calculate And we can see an equation here. It tells us our value for A, that's the slope of the line, and our value for B, which is the y-intercept. So let's write this down. The equation of our line of best fit is y equals 0.73, I rounded that, x plus 3.06. Now we can go in and plot that line or graph that line above our scatter plot to see how they match up. So go into y equals and type in the equation 0.73x plus 3.06. And then we can graph and we should see the line and the graph at the same time. And look at that, the line goes through those points pretty well. That does look like a line of best fit. Another thing that you can use your calculator to figure out is how good is this line of best fit? And that's with something called a correlation coefficient. The correlation coefficient will be a number between negative one and one. And if the number is negative, it means that the graph has a negative correlation. In our case, our correlation coefficient should be positive because there is a positive correlation between our variables. And the closer the number is to one or negative one, then the better the line is. So to figure out the correlation coefficient, which is used, or the letter R is used to represent the correlation coefficient, you're going to go back into the calculate, so stat calc, and push four again, and do that again until we've calculated. 
And this time I can see this thing R squared and R and R is my correlation coefficient. R squared is actually R squared. That's called the coefficient of determination. And it's also a measure of how good the relationship is. In this case, we can just worry about R, 0.9876. That's really good. That number is very close to one. So that means it's a pretty strong correlation. And our line of best fit is a pretty accurate representation of the relationship between the two variables. Now, by the way, if when you originally do this on your calculator, R squared and R don't come up, it only shows Y, A, and B. What you need to do is go into the catalog, so click second and then zero, and you're in the catalog, and scroll down until you find diagnostic on and select that, and that will make sure that whenever you do linear regressions, it tells you these correlation coefficients.